Hey there, Jen here. I felt compelled to do this video for you today because I've been spending a lot of time with my coaching clients this week talking about how to generate leads. Generating leads is by far the number one hot topic and issue that most business owners struggle with. And what I'm coming across is that the inability to generate leads can be so detrimental to your business. I've had coaching clients actually cry on the phone to me because they are at the brink of quitting and giving up their business due to the frustration and the overwhelm. And it's just because they cannot generate leads. So this message is really, really important. If you're feeling that same frustration and overwhelm and wondering if you are even going to continue in business or not. So here's the secret. It's really not about what you think it's about. Generating leads is not about what social media posts you're gonna put out or what platform you're gonna advertise on or should you be sending emails to a list. It's not about any of those things, guys. Those are tactics. It is about having the right message. And if you're not a copywriter or a marketing strategist, you might be sitting there thinking, well, how do I know what my message is? How do I know how to write a message that's gonna convert people into leads and make them feel compelled to wanna do business with me? So the good news is that it's not about you. <laughs> so let me just remove some of that burden from you right now. If you need to generate leads in your business and you don't know if you're qualified because you're not a copywriter or a Facebook ad strategist or whatever you think it is that you're missing, the good news is that it's not about you. It's about them. It's about the clients that you serve and the problem that you solve. So if you're struggling to generate leads, I encourage you to look at your messaging and see if you are clearly communicating what problem you solve. And there are basically three main areas of life that people need problem solved. There's their health, their wealth and their relationships. So if you as a business owner can communicate in a way that hits one of those three pain points, health, wealth, and relationships, and then, or I'm sorry, one of those areas of their life, health, wealth, and relationships, and then can dig deeper into what problem you're solving for them, then you're, you're more in the right track. So in addition to be able to communicate what the problem is, you also need to be able to relate on a very emotional level. So I literally have had coaching clients and prospects cry to me on the phone this week and last week and the week before because the pain is so great for them. They just really feel like they're not stepping into who they're supposed to be. They're not serving the clients that they know that they're supposed to be serving. And they're not making the money that they deserve to make based on their knowledge and their expertise and the time that they've put into their business. And so once you can understand from your prospective client or patient or customer's point of view, what is that problem? What is hurting them? What is keeping them up at night? You can communicate in a way that lets them know that you get it. Again, it's not about us. It's not about you. It's about them. And that just relieves so much of the stress and the burden of trying to come up with the right marketing message or the right social media strategy. You guys, it's just not that hard. It's about them. It's about creating an awesome message because you let them know that you get it, that you understand what their problem is. A follow-up to that is that you need to know how to move them from where they are to having an epiphany to getting unstuck and realizing that you have a solution for them. So I'm getting to the end of this video and I wanna dive deeper into that. So stay tuned for the next email where I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the solution and how you get someone to have an epiphany and an awakening for them to realize that you have the answer to their problem, that you know what they're going through and that you can solve it because you have this one next step, step that they can take. But for now, I would encourage you to just stop what you're doing, think. Stop and think about the message that you're putting out there and is it communicating to your ideal clients that you understand what their problem is? Are you hitting it? Are you getting them in the heart and getting them in the mind? 
So I look forward to sharing with you again on another video. The next video that I do will be on solutions. And then we're going to be talking about creating offers and lots of other really awesome, powerful stuff for building your expert business. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.